All right, everybody, this is Kent. He has been traveling. I've met him in Tuscaloosa, oh, about a month and a half, two months ago. And he's been traveling on this beast right here. And I just saw him in Chelsea, Alabama, and we got some breakfast and I went back and I wanted to make sure he had a phone number so we could hear about his journey. So tell me about your journeys. Well, I started in 2020. Uh, they shut the show down because of the virus. Uh, I was there ready to go in South Haven, Mississippi. And uh, I helped the guy move to Jasper, Alabama. And I made a little chunk of money, bought a bicycle, a different bike, and started out. I went through Alabama, uh, down in Florida Panhandle, back through uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and then uh, part of Louisiana, back up to Natchez. Savannah, Georgia. And you were sick for a while and were stuck in Tuscaloosa, weren't you? 38 days in the hospital. I, got, uh, I waited way too long. I had the COVID and uh, I was in the hospital 38 days. They had me on the most oxygen that you can get. I, I just about died. They brought me back. And I've still got two blood clots in my lungs. I'm taking blood fillers to get rid of it. This heat's very hard to breathe, so I travel at night and lit up. Lights everywhere. Lights everywhere. So where are you headed to tonight? I'm going to stay here. I want to participate in, I saw a poster uh, on the, the 4th of July. They're going to have a 4th of July festival here. Yes, sir. And they have a bike for me. Oh! <laughs> ah! I want to be a part of that. I think it's on the, I think it's on the 2nd. I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah. It's on uh, Saturday. Saturday. So, um, how much how, how, how much does it take to get from here to there? What you mean? Like, are you, do you camp out on your bike, or do you stay in hotels, or what do you do? Uh, you know, like hotels, uh, I don't want to buy them, I just want to rent it, you know. They char I charge too much. Charge too much. Yeah, I usually stop at truck stops, so I take a good shower, they got showers there. And, uh, and, uh, I'm not in a hurry. And what kind of show were you doing? I ran the court gun game. It's a fair. Oh, the court gun game. Okay. Yeah. See, I, got, I come on my own game. I got a laser sling, a laser sighted slingshot. It's a top of the line slingshot. And I got a little foam a turkey decoy. I got it from Walmart for seven dollars or something stupid like that. It's, it's cute. You know, it's cute little turkey. But uh, instead, of, I set up the truck stops. There's a little backdrop. You know, so I catch my ammo, reuse it. And, uh, 25 cents a shot, five for a dollar, uh, family bucket for 10. And the truckers love it because they're bored to death. And it's fun, you know, because you, you get that little red dot on the turkey. It doesn't mean you're going to hit him because you got to have everything lined up just right, you know. But it's, it's fun. It's fun. It sounds like fun. Now say your name one more time for me. Kent Burnham. Kent Burnham. Burnham. And do you have Facebook or? Do you have a Facebook or YouTube channel or anything? No, I, I can't get a phone because I just found out I, I can get my uh, Social Security started. I turned 62 in October, so I'm going to try to get uh, a little chunk of money, you know, in, you know, in retirement. I didn't know you could do it at 62, but you can. Hmm. I didn't either. You take 25. You take a 25% hit. You get full benefits. But it'll get you through, right? Well, hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> Another I didn't think I'd make it this far. You know what I mean? 60, 62. And um, when you get to Georgia, what are your plans? Uh, I, I was there years ago. And what really interested me was these people. Uh, down at the boardwalk is just beautiful. I don't know if you've ever been there. It's right next to the river. Uh -huh. And these people are they weeds. Different stuff like roses and little animals and hats out of reeds, out of these reeds. Mm -hmm. So I want to try to learn how to do that. That and, sounds like fun. And and just you can be creative, you know, it'd be a challenge. I, I, I just think I'd like it. And you can make some money. Because these tourists buy these, you know, they, they just set their stuff up on the boardwalk. People come by, buy. Let me ask you a question. Living the life that you're living, what's the most important thing in life for you? The most interesting thing I found was 
they told me years ago somebody I know who it was turn your vo turn your vacation into your vocation you know what I mean enjoy what you do that's why I like it. I love the midway I love the atmosphere the people come have fun and you know I run the court and get around all kinds of different games but You get to mess with people and make sure they have fun and they'll spend more money with you, you know. And it don't matter if they're little tiny kids, I can mess with them, you know. Make sure they have fun, get to give them, give them rings or whatever. Uh, or an 85 year old, it don't matter how old you are, you're gonna have fun. It's all about life, isn't it? And living it up, being happy. Oh, I can't, I just can't, I just can't imagine how people do it. Stocking groceries in a grocery store for 35 years. I don't know. I just still I couldn't do it, sweetie. At the same little cost the same little town. <laughs> There's so much to see out there, isn't there? Is. there? Davenport, Iowa is so cool. Because they, they you know they're locked up. They got cabin fever all winter long. And so when spring comes, they shut the whole downtown down. Free concerts, food, I mean, and they have one of the best, they have a world renowned uh, skating park there. It's a big concrete, you know, skateboarders and stuff. And no kid, that people come from California to skate at this park. It's so cool. And they got a free, uh, what do they call them? Water, water parks. Not a water park, is it? Well, it's just water shoots up and down the ground, you know, I forget what they call it. But they got that right next to the river. It's all free. It's just there. You know, people out there having, having fun. So would you would you document your um, adventures if you had a cell phone? <laughs> it would be cool. It would be cool. Uh, it would be cool. Because people, uh, people just don't realize how, how fun it is. Let's, let's see what we can do. They got uh, they got this new thing I'm thinking about trying to get. It's a virtual boat. It looks just like the boat has got 